You want to know which broker you should choose? In this video, I will tell you what to look for. So first of all, anyone who wants to trade, no matter if manually or automated, needs a broker. Okay, the first thing you should pay attention to is what trading platform the broker offers. Therefore, of course, you have to know what trading platforms are available. I have already made a video in which I compared the different trading platforms. I will link it right here. Next, you should check by which financial authority the broker is regulated. Um, I would go with Bafin, Germany, FCA UK or ASIC Australia. You can check this on the broker's website, but also make sure to check it on the regulator's website. Then, of course, take a look at the trading costs. Commission should be charged separately. Spread should not be fixed and the swap should not be too high or too low. And slippage, of course, is not so easy to compare, but still should be taken into account. And there are many different websites where you can easily compare the cost between different brokers. Then there should be a decent customer support. When something goes wrong, you want to talk to a competent employee, not a chatbot and not a call center in India. Nothing against Indian call centers, but if you really... Sorry. Hello, Hello. Hello sir. My name is Jairaj Rahul Bhattacharya Bandari. I am from Microsoft Official. Microsoft Official? I am calling you for your problem with your trading account. Oh, yes. There are huge, huge risks. Risk. Perform the following steps immediately. Change your password to JFXD124D. No, didn't know. Mm. Got it? No. Very nice. And no, I, I didn't. Google sir, I don't. Just post your account information I don't by want a gift, sir, to the I need Telegram group and we will send the money by sir. gift cards. And for a free Bitcoin, send two Bitcoin, Bitcoin by Bitcoin carrier bird need... to whose DF7J38FJSUZRPOQ. Next point, a broker should not run aggressive advertising or promotion. You don't need a leverage of 500 or even more. You don't need bonus programs. And it's really not important if a famous sports dude pretends to trade with this broker or not. For example, just take a look at the jersey of Atletico Madrid. And if this video helps you choosing a broker, it would be nice if you leave a like. I always try to get straight to the point. Okay, that's that. You also have to make sure that there is no minimum distance for a stop loss. Also, scalping should be allowed and of course, automated trading systems or EAs. And finally, you can check how the website is designed and the client portal, is it up to date, payment options and so on. Okay, these are a few points which you should pay attention to when choosing a broker. I will just create a spreadsheet, compare and then also test different brokers in a paper account. In the future, I will make a video about which broker I use and why. If you don't want to miss that, subscribe and also write a comment which broker you use and I will see you next time. Noch eine schöne Woche.